Here, everything is of the same color. Everything seems to be the same. Hiding from our eyes. When it comes to these either stories that I'm going to talk about in my films, usually everything starts with a location, with a place. So in this case with Tragic Jungle, I found the border between Mexico and Belize, a very thin river that divides the two countries, a border that can be crossed very easily. And then doing research about the history of the place, I realized that in the early 20s, there was a big industry that started to develop, which is the exploitation of the chewing gum. Men had to live inside the jungle for eight months or more during the rainy season, but they were all the time in contact with the jungle, especially with a jungle that is full of myths and legends because of the Mayan culture. For me, the pre-production uh, stage is really, really important. So I had the chance to go to most of the locations at least twice before starting the shooting with Sofia and do approximations to the framing, lighting, uh, camera movements. From the beginning, Juliana wanted a camera that was very free, that was organic and kind of move uh, arm to arm and walk with the characters of the film. I always thought about shooting the movie as, as if the camera wa was another chiclero, another one of the men living inside the, the gang, looking with curiosity to, towards this beautiful woman and also making decisions about who to look at, when to look at. We wanted uh, with Yulene that this jungle was a very dark jungle. It needed to have this contrast. So what I discovered in that scouting day is that if I had my key for, for the highlights, then this jungle will become dark. So I basically exposed a lot of the times for these highlights and sometimes not even have a feel. Julene had a very clear path to follow. She didn't want a um, warm jungle. She wanted a place that looked very natural, green, without these bright greens that sometimes pop up. So in those terms, I tried to choose a period of the year where we could avoid a little bit the, the summer and the sun shining all the time and to move closer to the rainy season to have more clouds in the sky a more even light I know the Alexa Mini. I know that it's a very balanced camera. It's a camera that I like operating. Lightweight, it's not easy to walk through branches with a big, big, big setup of, of camera. I wanted something small. Also, it won't shut down because of any type of humidity issues or stuff like that. It will withstand the environment. For this type of shots, the you know top of the tree shots, they did like this type of swing uh, with a rope. They constructed a very beautiful cage type of thing with a chair for me, so I could sit there, secure myself, and operate a handheld camera on top of the tree, which was what Yulena really wanted. 
uh, to be close of these men and not from a distance. So I wanted to create some layering uh, in the backgrounds without going to anamorphic lenses. We choose the um, S5i Cooks prime lenses and uh, 25 to 150 zoom Cook. The primes just to be able to be close to the characters and be able to handheld operate the camera. And then we took the zoom to do some nature shots where it's impossible to get that close to the animals without them running away. One of the biggest challenge for me was to work with all these different people who came from different countries, who speak different languages. For me, the, it's the first time that I work with a, with a big production team and especially to transmit to all this big group of people the, the right energy to be inside of the jungle because of course the weather conditions uh, were tough. Uh, it could rain, it could be cloudy the day you need the sun, so you need to be flexible. Sometimes we didn't have another opportunity to go back to certain locations. Good amount of times we shoot while it was raining and Julene kind of improvised with her actors some scenes just because uh, the climate changed and there was a big storm so she improvised some some scenes according to what nature was offering to us in the shoot. What actually attracted me the most it was the idea of portraying a jungle that is almost like a living entity. The jungle decides to defend herself from the humans that try to steal its treasures. Using the powers of other mysterious creatures that live inside the jungle. 